are having carbon fiber rim that is different than this motor here. Hey guys, I'm Scott with Trail Power and we are here at CES 2023 and, and uh, Tuomo, CEO of Verge Motorcycles, has a new product. What can you tell us about the TS Ultra? Well, we can see that that is uh, for city use mainly. That is not so aerodynamic, but that is a monster. You can ride 200 kilometers per hour, so that is 120 miles per hour. So it, so it really is a super bike? Yeah, that is. That is having crazy acceleration, 2.5 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour. That is really having at all. That is smooth, seamless, because there's no gears. Just turn to throttle, and that is going like crazy. So the thing that got my attention, and I think for a lot of people also, is that you have a hubless design. Yeah. But but the motor is in the wheel. Yeah. And that that's hard to imagine how you can have a hubless design with the motor in the yeah. wheel. Can you show us that? Yeah. I, I can explain. So this okay. Is, this is how, how we are having it in the rear wheel or rim of the motor. So that is, we are having Pirelli tire here. We are having carbon fiber rim that is different than this motor here. So this sta static part is stator of the motor. These bolts are not rotating. Then there is a bearing here and the rotor of the motor. So that is one part, one part moving only. All of this area just provides cooling, so yeah. you don't need all of the complexity of, of liquid cooling yeah. or, or no pumps, nothing like and, that. And surely that is also lightweight compared to that, that we are having three liters of cooling liquid and half a liter of oil, and then we can add batteries instead of that. So, yeah, on top of that, of, this is cooling surface. There's also a gap in, uh, between this carbon fiber rim and this rotor, so that is also cooled from outside. So you have an air gap around yeah. here as well. Yeah. Amazing. And then this is this is your brake rotor? Yeah, and the caliber is behind this cover. Surely we can do electric braking so much that we are not needing that, but then the legal side, and uh, th that is needing to have that, this brake. So you talked about the legal side. Does that mean that this will actually be a street legal product? Yeah. The crazy thing is that we are already street legal in Europe. Okay. We are now adding on U.S. Uh, type approval, and then we can deliver bikes to U.S. market. Amazing. And so all of this area here, I mean, with with having the motor down so much of the motor down low, you have an incredibly low center of gravity. It's yeah. got to make the riding dynamics amazing. Yeah, that that is so. And then uh, when when the motor is not there battery is so low that that's also like double effect when the motor is here also battery is very low and that is that is making so, so low center of gravity that that is just amazing right i bet because i mean usually if you do have if you have a separate motor and wheel design then you've got the battery pushed up into the yeah. tank area yeah. but this is this is not this is not battery up yeah, here that is only, only electrics on the top and then cooling channel for the motor controller there so you really have all of your weight down here about a foot off the ground yeah it's got to amazing, be amazing in the turns. Yeah, that, that is easy to handle in slow speeds and high speeds. And that is not trying to do wheelies, that is safe bike. Amazing. And and so you're bringing this to the U.S. market. How long are we looking at till we see this on streets in the U.S.? Um, it seems that we can do late this year to have first bikes running on the U.S. streets. Wow. And that is that is really fun. And And you have a direct sales model? Yeah, in Europe, uh, we are a European company uh, based in Finland, having an uh, assembly plant in Estonia, and we are spread it then uh, all over Europe. We are selling straight in Europe. Okay. And in the US, that is uh, state, by state, state by state, we are looking at how we can do it, because it seems that people are wanting the straight sales, and then in the US, there, there is, uh, yeah. You have a, a dealer states. network or yeah. something for... Yeah, that is to be found out. To be figured out. So yeah. I'm sure that there would be companies that would be interested in working with you to establish a dealer network with throughout the US and, and service and such. Yeah. And do, do, you, do you have an idea on the pricing for something like this? Yeah, we are 
we are already having that open for US customers, so you can make a preliminary pre-order, I would say that, that is not the sales, but that is, you can have your place in a queue. Okay. And uh, we are having three models, that is 26,000, 29,000 and 45,000, so okay. depending on the power and the capacity. And so this one's a 45,000 model, and this one has, uh, if I'm looking right, 201 horsepower? Yeah, that is really so. 201 horsepower coming out of this wheel that I can put my arm through. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's that is, incredible. That is, that is crazy. Yeah. And and the specs: two point five seconds, zero to sixty, yeah. and a range up to two hundred and thirty three miles. Yeah. I imagine I could probably get that down to about thirty miles on the track. Yeah, surely uh, in every vehicle it doesn't matter if that's electric or gasoline powered. If you are going faster or using more energy, the shorter the range is, <laughs> and, and that is so in the electric vehicle. So so speaking of range, you say that you have a fast charge in, in as little as twenty five minutes. Yeah, we are having 400 volts battery, so we can fast charge that in Europe that is type 2 CCS and in the US that is type 1 CCS. You can fast charge this bike and from 20 to 80 that is 25 minutes, surely depending if that is already boiling hot outside, right. then that is limiting that a little, but that is that is really fast charge. So you can take advantage of existing charging infrastructure? Yeah, that is just same as in cars, so same sockets. So same socket as car charging? Yeah. Awesome. And, and up to 1,200 newton meters of torque. Yeah, that, it's a, that is really so. We can it's do a beast. Things, uh, with electric bikes. Yeah. Hey, Tuomo, thank you very much. Congratulations yeah. on this. And uh, we're, we're excited to see this on the roads in the U.S. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for your time. You saw it here on Trail Power, and we'll bring you more from CES 2023.